All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. You're watching Stranger Palooza. We cover Class B vans here, camper vans all the time. And one of the big requests I'm getting from folks is to check out the handicapped accessible or handicapable vehicle. So we're actually here, I think is, this is a La Mesa RV booth that we're in um, that they're sharing with Winnebago. And Winnebago has the Rome. So we're actually going to speak to someone from Winnebago and get kind of a little tour and um, get the breakdown of the Winnebago Rome. Let's do it right now. All right, guys, so I'm here with Courtney from Winnebago. Basically, Courtney, what I wanted to know from you, what is the philosophy behind the Rome? Like, how do you guys think about this yeah. when you're trying to put together a vehicle for people um, that have special needs when it comes to access? Yeah, absolutely. Well, since Winnebago was founded, we've really been doing one-off custom modifications that are accessible. You know, people would bring in their unit and say, we need a wheelchair lift, we need a microwave lowered, or whatever it was, and we would do it. And mm -hmm. not many people were doing it at the time. And, you know, we've really listened over the years to what those common asks were mm -hmm. and decided gosh the demand is there the ask is there why don't we make a production standard purpose-built unit and the Rome is the second of its kind so we first started with our inspired class A and we really saw that there was a need for a smaller more compact unit that could not only be used for RVing but also daily driving right, um, right. especially when it comes to need somebody might need an accessible restroom on the go or a galley for meal prep or a refrigerator for medication so we really saw this unique space in the market where a lot of people were asking for it and honestly Honestly, the philosophy is that we just listened um, and we had a lot of help along the way so we had some really great um, wheelchair users along the way giving us their feedback and making sure that what we made would be workable um, mm -hmm. and that's definitely we're continuously trying to meet the most needs possible right. and to give everyone the opportunity to go outside or even just have a great experience daily driving so yeah absolutely and Rob Rob took us through the inspire is that what it's called yes yeah he took us through that yesterday so when it when it comes down to like a class B van yeah is it just shrinking those things down or a whole different thing? You know, I think there are things that are at their core necessary to this audience mm -hmm. um, and we wanted to make sure that those carried through, but they each have their own unique features. Um, for example, we do have, as you'll see when Rob takes you through, a pull-down cabinet. So things that in a B-van, because it's shorter, we right. wanted to make sure that what in reach means um, looks a little different in a B-van than a Class A. So I think the core values, like having things in reach and having maneuverability, are consistent. But what that actually looks like is different for each floor plan. And you'll see that during the video today. Absolutely. So yeah, I know we had lots of requests from folks that look at our channel. We cover Class Bs. So I think now Rob's going to give us the walkthrough, right? Yep, absolutely. We'll pass it off right. to our director, Rob. Thank you so much. Thanks, Courtney. So inside the vehicle, We've got some plastic down for just protecting it for the show, mm -hmm. so ignore that. But we do have wheelchair tie downs standard. So if someone wanted to ride in their wheelchair, there are straps that allow it to connect to their wheelchair and keep them secure. Right. Uh, front swivel seats. Uh, we have a small galley here with a uh, three cubic foot refrigerator. Uh, you see above that we have a, a small hanging pantry. It just gives you that extra storage mm -hmm. in something like Spices this. Spices and stuff like that, yeah. easy to reach. Bread, peanut assuming. butter and jelly, whatever you yeah. need. Um, but it's reachable then from uh, someone in a wheelchair, which is yeah. great. Yeah. I'll just I step like inside. Idea. So let me, if, if I could just uh, go back to, to this. How exactly does it work? Do those pop up or? They don't pop up. Something the, uh, pushes in? The Q-Straint um, mm -hmm. strap has a clip that clips onto those oh, and okay. holds on. Oh, okay. Yeah. And those, cool. those will come with the vehicle as oh, well. Awesome. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. Uh, small yeah. extra surface here, cutting board surface. Okay. So, one of the challenges on a B van or a camper mm -hmm. van is just size. How do you right. get <laughs> enough space in here for a wheelchair to come in and move around comfortably? Yeah. So, this area up front is big enough to, even if you're in a power chair, mm -hmm. to get your power chair in. And be able to turn 360 round. Right. Yeah. And we were. I was looking at a gentleman that was trying out the other one doing that. Absolutely. Okay. And then this aisle way here is wide enough to get your wheelchair through pretty easily. And what we did over here is we created a wet bath. Someone can transfer from a wheelchair into the bathroom. Uh, use this. Uh, the shower here is on a handle, so low enough for anybody to reach grab bar inside and we used a a fabric privacy curtain 
which has magnets on the sides oh, okay. to I keep see. it in place. Yeah. But this so is nice because as your wheelchair comes through, you're gonna probably hit yeah. the lower surfaces and mm -hmm. that's why you don't, won't do any damage. Yeah, and this gives you more room. If you put a door here, you won't necessarily get as much room to go in. Absolutely. Actually, this is a good idea. I mean, I think people who don't need the wheelchair access might still like the idea of this as a door. I agree, plus it's nice yeah. you can open it from either side. Right, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, very convenient. Yeah. Like you said, you know, everyone's looking for, for extra space. So immediately here, I notice you've got kind of like a control panel here, um, and I'm guessing that's the motor. Okay. All that in this so car. all the controls okay. are at a height where you can reach them from a wheelchair, which is fantastic. Okay. So here we have you know your controls and for your water pump and your heating systems, light switches. This control here is for the powered sofa bed. So rather than having a manual operated bed, we want a powered one. Right. It's much easier to operate. Yeah. So that's this, just one this push, will, and then this will turn it down. It. Oh. Okay. And this is a little bit different from what I've seen in other Winnebagos. Um, and I know Winnebagos always have some some you know really cool setups in terms of saving space and tucking things away. What have you guys done differently here? So one of the things is, uh, for example, this cabinet. Mm -hmm. This would be the cabinet if you are in a wheelchair, you're most likely to, to use from your wheelchair. Okay. So you can lift it up and then you have a pull down feature. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> so now you have ability to reach it from Get seated it position. Right. And you can just push that back that's up. Cool. We added these little straps because this mm -hmm. might be a little bit too too high to reach. Right. Now you can reach reach it and close it down. Oh, nice. Okay. And then the ang is this angle to to give more room going in? This exactly. So this is mm -hmm. the whole vehicle. We we designed it to kind of create that feeling of space inside. Right. And so this angle, instead of protruding out this far, allows you whether you're when you're seated here, you're not feeling like you have uh, you a cabinet your by your head. Yeah. Right. So it just and shoulder room if you're walking through. Mm -hmm. So it just gives that feeling of of more spaciousness. Okay, awesome. Can we uh, get in here and take a closer look? Are there any other things? Um, I noticed you've got ram mounts all over the place, which is nice. Uh, there's several right here. You can use it for cup holders or what yeah. have you. Yeah. Yeah. This is nice big table here. It looks like on an articulating arm, mm -hmm. so you can pull that out. Right. Move the mm -hmm. TV around. Yeah. I like this table here. So I'm assuming you could you could have lunch or whatever right here. Yeah, let me put this back up into a couch and I'll show you the table. So in this model, I think you can buckle at what, four or five people? There are uh, two seat belts okay. in the back with mm -hmm. shoulders, straps, right. and then the two in the front. Two in front, so four, okay. So the table flips up and then pulls out from this side. Okay. Nice. So you have lots of space, space for me for both sides. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. In fact, some people have played with this model and used the TV as a workspace. Mm -hmm. So bring your laptop, plug yeah. into the TV, have two monitors. Plug a monitor in here. Or if you have an iPad or something, you could, exactly. you could um, mirror it to that. That's very cool. Uh, we did a few things like this switch. You, right here is a light switch, two position light switch. So if you're in bed, you, sometimes you just want a little bit of light, mm -hmm. right? So what this controls are accent lights just on the oh, bottom. Oh, okay, on the bottom, right. right? And mm -hmm. it's at two different brightnesses. Yeah. So just a nice way at night to have a little bit of light, mm -hmm. but be reachable from back here. Yeah, very cool. If you want a little more light, there's a light switch in the back corner, which controls just this one above the bed. Okay, this which is, is more cabinets there. Um, right, cabinets on both sides, and we actually, developed a custom bag. bag that fits just right into these cabinets so yeah. we have a couple of those that come with the vehicle as well yeah I know so this finished material I haven't seen in any other Winnebago's this is was this unique to this vehicle I know this is a prototype so I'm nope, not sure this is a okay. custom finish for mm -hmm. the Rome okay so it's the ultra leather fabric but then with the accent red mm -hmm. fabrics and, uh, and some pillows and in the front we see the same red color for the curtain Okay, yeah, it's kind of sporty. And so those are magnetic uh, window covers That's correct. that you've got there? Really cool. 
you know, there's a lot of things I see in this that I think, oh, I like that. I like that in my band too. <laughs> you know. Um, so and then, uh, oh, here you were talking about the. So the ram mounts allow you to put all sorts of accessories on. So this is just a cup holder accessory. You can get iPad holders, Go iPhone phones, holders, yeah, GoPro stuff. holders, yeah. and they have diff different types of cup holders. This is just one you put as an example. Yeah. But we put the ram strips um, in different Lola. places in the yeah. vehicle. So including these grab bars, Lola. So right here, for example, you can you can put stuff in these, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah that's the one up in front. Yeah. Okay. Right here. Yeah. And on the handlebar. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So is there uh, anything up here that makes it easier for someone who's in a wheelchair? I know I see some buttons over here I don't usually see. Um, is only, that to help with driving? Front or is there's a, um, an interconnect feature so that you mm -hmm. can't start and drive away while the wheelchair lift is out. Okay. Um, the swivel seats do allow you then to transfer in and out. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, the standard Ram ProMaster interior. And, and so far as driving, it's the same. Yeah. So, if someone, for example, needed assistance yeah. with shifting or something like that, then they could just have it adapted, right? Correct. If you yeah. want hand controls, mm -hmm. there are many third parties that will install that on this vehicle. Okay, great. Do these seats go up and down to help with getting in and out of them? Unfortunately, the ProMaster seats do not go up and down. Mm -hmm. So, okay. just the rear tilt, uh, slide forward and back, and the rotate. Okay. Right. And here's the curtains you were talking about before, and this is kind of on a track, so I like that. Yeah. yeah. That's nice because it gives you a really quick ability to have privacy in mm -hmm. the back of the vehicle. Yeah. So options, or I'm guessing there's just one floor pl plan on this, right? There's one floor for the plan. Room. Okay. I'll make it really simple. Mm -hmm. Basically, the only option is if you want the pop top mm -hmm. for extra sleeping okay. or not. Okay. And so is this lithium or does it have like AGM batteries, generator? Uh, two or? AGM batteries okay. are in, on board. Okay. Um, it does give you enough power while you're driving and with the alternator to keep the roof air conditioning running as well. Okay. We have a 3000 watt inverter, which mm -hmm. allows us to run the microwave off the batteries as well as some other accessories at the okay. same time. Okay. Is there is there a lithium option or that's not available? We're looking at that for the a future model year. Okay. But for the introductory one, we wanted to um, start with uh, the basic AGMs. Mm -hmm. uh, there's shore power cord. Right. No. Yeah. One of the things we can't see here is on the outside, and I think I don't know if I was asking you that on camera or not. So forgive me if I'm asking again. So far as your utilities on the outside for dumping and all that, standard, right? Yeah, so it's a cassette mm -hmm. toilet, so yeah. you access oh, okay. the cassette from the outside, and mm -hmm. then there's just a gray water tank. Oh, okay, um, so it's and, not a lot of stuff. Hose, so that's it. Yeah, yeah it's not And then your stuff. fill is on the back, very okay. similar to the fill on some of the other Winnebago's, like right. the Solus. Okay, very cool. And then with this with this microwave, is was there a thought of like, you know, bringing it down? You know, so people... I'm not sure if you can actually access the microwave from up here or not. Uh, have you guys... So, yeah, mm -hmm. that is... That's one of those things that, uh, as we were talking before, mm -hmm. uh, there's, there's always these trade-offs of space and where mm -hmm. you can put something and right. is everything going to be reachable from a wheelchair or not. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so, so like sink is really important, <laughs> fridge sure very important. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, but we don't so want to give up the right. fridge to put the microwave down below. Right. So, mm -hmm. uh, Which is not necessarily used all the time. One of those trade-off yeah. areas. Right. Yeah. Okay. And we have an outlet in front here so that mm -hmm. if someone wants to have a convection stovetop, you know, the portable ones, they, so oh, you can they just can put, put it, it there in here, and just plug, plug it in there. Very nice, and then there's a slide out and all that. So what kind of questions are you getting from guys looking at this? Uh, what, what, like, what are your frequently asked questions from folks? I think for most people, it's really about, is this going to work for me? Mm -hmm. So am I able to transfer okay to the bathroom? And right. so having people come by, take a look, try mm -hmm. it, yeah. um, it gives people a sense of, yeah, that's going to work for me. Yeah. Or, or maybe not. So yeah. it's not going to work for 100% of the people. Right. But um, I think for a, a good majority, yeah. I think we've got the basics here that work for most people. Absolutely. I agree. You know, it's tough to, to make something like this 
or anything, you know, any van fit for everyone, you have to customize some things. But I know even if, for example, you have kids, like I talk to guys that have kids and they want to go to games and all that stuff, but they might have, you know, it's not comfortable sometimes depending on issues that you have, right? You know, I have Crohn's myself, so if I was out, I would, I would really need a bathroom and things. So that's, you know, it's really convenient. I could see something like this being used a lot more than just going on vacation. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know what? Um, yeah. Can we? Can we? You know, we don't have a wheelchair here. And then we mentioned that. Demo this. Absolutely. You want to step outside? I'll and get go the demo outside. From there? So the Braun Ability Lift is power actuated through electricity. But if for some reason there was a power issue, this module here allows you to deploy it, move it up and down with a pneumatic system. I'm sorry, hydraulic system. So it's basically a pump like a floor jack. Okay. So you can take their little rod, you put it in, you can pump it up. So all the Braun Ability wheelchair lifts have an yeah, option like this. Happened, you can get in or out. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. And then there's a pendant as well as a separate remote. So we can just press down. It deploys the under vehicle wheelchair lift. What kind of weight can this take? 750 pounds. Okay. That front end just all the way down, then someone could roll onto it. Mm -hmm. So you just roll them on. That's right. And then we press and hold the up button. That front plate comes up. Here is someone from being able to roll out the back. And then it's going to start going up. Nice. So now you can roll in, roll move in. around. Okay. And, and then, then the stow. The button that says stow. Okay. You just press and hold that. You're going to go back underneath. That's very fast. Yeah. The whole process is very fast. Awesome. That's, That's it. Cool. <laughs> All right. So my final question for you, Rob, what's the price of this going to be? What's it going to look like? Yeah. For this particular model, there's a show and our basic one price that mm -hmm. Mace is offering these for is $134,581. Okay, cool. And then this, what does the pop top option add the to pop that? Pop top will add 10,000. So okay. it's $144,581. Awesome. Thank and you so much. And that's your out the door price. Okay. That's out the door. Yep. Okay. And so Will you um, will you be able to get this from anyone that's carrying Winnebago or only? No, that's only a good from, question. From these guys that's right a good now. question. Yeah. So our dealer network for the accessibility enhanced products mm -hmm. is more limited. It's part of Winnebago's dealer network. Okay. But only select dealers will oh. be accessibility enhanced dealers. Okay. And that's because we want to make sure the accessibility enhanced dealers are really well trained. They mm -hmm. really understand this population and what the needs are. Right. Uh, this isn't a high volume product line. This right. Is so there's some special training, exactly. etc., involved, which exactly. they probably have to want to do in the first place. Exactly. So, okay. So those select dealers will, you know, once carrying the inventory and okay. be fully trained on how to how to service, how to service the lifts, as right. well as the rest of the vehicles. Okay. So if someone's looking at this and they want to find out about that, wherever they are, is there a special place they go to on Winnebago.com? Is there a separate site? How does that work? Yeah, we have a dealer locator on Winnebago.com. Okay. I will say on the Winnebago Roams for the next uh, at least six months, mm -hmm. they're really going to be carried by the La Mesa dealerships. Okay. Which are across the southern part of the country. Yeah, right? there's several Florida, of them here. Arizona, Florida. California, New Mexico. Okay, there you go. So you got to check out La Mesa for that. Absolutely. <laughs> if you if you want to get it first. <laughs> That's right. Awesome. Thanks so much, Rob. All I right, really appreciate you, you taking all the time. Absolutely. All right, guys, we're out of here. If you have more questions, just leave them in the comments. Uh, I'll see if I can get Rob's info and we'll get those answered. I'm sure I missed a whole bunch of stuff. You did great. All right, thank you. <laughs> thank you. We're out of here.